Zentangle. For this assignment, you are going to use regular patterns to create your Zentangles. So a regular pattern has a regular amount of space between each line and shape. So regular pattern, even amount of space, roughly. Okay. You want to make sure that your marks look purposeful. No scribbling and no random stuff. You know, make it look like that's what you're meant to do. If you have your piece highlighted, if one of your squares is highlighted, that means that that box, I thought, worked really well. If it says FF, that means fill the frame. Okay, so a regular pattern is going to fill the frame all the way around, and it's going to repeat the same elements. So here's an A-plus project right here. This works really well, especially like this one. I'm going to give you a piece of clay to play with with the Scrofito tool because some of these might be a little bit challenging, like that's a small line, but it's really cool. But I'm going to let you guys play with it first before you make that decision. So all of these are great. These are also really nice. Um, this one kind of veers away from the regular pattern, but I can see how it could easily go that direction. Uh, when you're using the Scrofito tool, tiny little things like this, that's going to be difficult. Here, instead of doing the circles, you might decide that making a dot would be a good idea. Okay, these are all exceptional examples. They fill the frame, they repeat the pattern repeat them in intervals. These are also really good. This one, I want you to try on clay before you do it because you might find it's getting a little busy. This one is actually irregular, but you could put that pattern, make it more of a regular pattern. The flowers, those should also be a little bit more regular. And you're going to find that when you're making the little circles, you might want to just make it a hole by putting the tool in a twist. And I'll show you that in a minute. That one I think is really cool. I think you could organize that one to make it a little bit more regular pattern. This one works, but these are not patterns. These don't repeat. This one's closest, but you don't have a regular pattern there. These are not bad, but I want you to push it a little bit further. More than just lines that are just repetition. I want you to go back in and play with that. Put some dime dots in there. Play around with that. These, you need to slow down. Slow down, take your time with it, watch more examples. This one is really nice. Um, I really like that one a lot. This one, that might get a little bit difficult. Exceptional examples here. I want you to play around with putting some dots, some different shapes in there. When I do my Zentangles, I will do the big shapes first and map it out so it's all regular pattern. And then I go in and I play with different things inside those negative spaces. All right, this one I need for you to look at that example again. That's not quite what you were seeing in the video, so take your time. I put a line here to make this more regular pattern. I want you to revisit those lesson videos, the ones that have the, the yellow around them, those work really, those work pretty well. I love that one. That one is uber cool. This one, the shapes are a little big for Zentangle. This one, it starts to get a little scribbly. This one looks purposeful. The lines are etchy, sketchy, but they look like they were done on purpose, and that's what you're looking for. Good examples. These, I would maybe come back in and add some different shapes in there, maybe large to small. Um, this, I need for you to rework that part. And this one, they need to look intentional. These three are really going the right direction, but you need to make them look more intentional. These are not bad examples, but I want you to push your idea. If you made this, repeat this pattern more than once, that one is really cool looking. That's a good regular pattern. Yeah, where you overlap the lines, those are cool. You might find that just gets really, really busy. This one's cool. These are a little bit on the busy side. You might want to like slow down. And I'm going to have you guys make sure that you are repeating these shapes. So you would repeat 
all of this more than once. So this in itself is not a regular pattern. Better to have too many ideas and be able to subtract ideas than have not enough ideas. So I want you to rework that a little bit simpler. Okay, these are all fairly good, but there's not a lot of variety in here. So I want you to make sure that you get some variety in there. This is a little too scribbly. That's cool. That's cool. All right. Not quite there yet. You need to put a little bit more time and effort into your design. So just to recap, doo -doo 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 -doo. regular pattern has regular amount of space in between each line or shape. Make sure your lines are purposeful. No randomness, no scribbles. The ones that have yellow boxes, those work. If it says FF, you need to fill the entire frame. All right, get going, y'all.